the programme. Peter's in Aberdeen, Sandy's in Forest. Good morning to both of you. Peter, first of all, let's hear your view. Uh, morning. Uh, morning. I'd like to see uh, Republican recruiters being invited into our schools to give them the message of republicanism and a, a Scottish and a British military who's actually going to fight for our freedoms. And, uh, well, hang on, they're, but they're going to recruit for what? A non-existent Republican army? Well, I think we should set up a, a Republican army. We should be inviting in um, um, experts from Ireland, from America, who are Republicans and military. Have you been taking lessons from Kevin on changing the subject here? Uh, I'm not changing the subject. I think uh, we should uh, be trying to win our own military over. We need to have education in our schools about military skills. Right. We, we, we need our kids to know how to fight back against the royalist fascist police state. So it's you're you're quite happy then for us to recruit in schools? I don't want people signing up uh, to the Queen. Uh, right, I, so they sign up for an army that they can go off and fight in a war and they can die, but you're quite happy for them to be recruited in schools? Well, the point is less people... It's about who they serve rather than what they do. Less people would be dying in Iraq if we had more competent uh, uh, leadership. Uh, we need to have an, an excellent head of state, not an incompetent one. Uh, we need to have excellent officers, not incompetent officers, giving a, a lead. So it's important to have good leadership of the military, and that means getting rid of the Queen and Prince uh, Philip. And okay, Prince okay, Charles. Peter, thank you for that.